think we had uh, protests in over 10 cities in the, in the Netherlands at different stations. Uh, and we've been doing this uh, well, basically since, uh, since October already, uh, since the bombing of Gaza started, um, to call for a ceasefire and to call for an end to the occupation. Today we were also uh, um, visiting the, the city uh, town hall of Utrecht. Utrecht is one of the biggest cities in the Netherlands. Uh, and we want also the, the cities to, to speak out about the atrocities that are happening in Gaza right now. Right now, I mean, for those who don't know, uh, there's uh, basically a genocide going on in Gaza. Uh, and we think it's ridiculous that the Netherlands is abstaining from all the resolutions where the UN is calling out the, the, the ceasefires, calling upon Israel to implement the ceasefire, to end the violence. Uh, and the Netherlands is not even supporting that. Uh, which I think is very shameful as a, as a Dutch person. I'm, I'm ashamed of my country. Um, I think it's, it's just such a... Um, like in a way, we always say that we, we stand for international law, we stand for human rights, but then we see how hypocritical we are when it comes to our supposedly allies. Uh, and suddenly that whole international rule of law is just a, a tool we use when it suits us. Like the difference between how we speak out about Ukraine and how we speak out about Gaza, it's just appalling to me. Also then, there's this poster, where are human rights when more than half of the martyrs in Gaza are women and children? Um, if you look closely at what is going on in Gaza right now, uh, in Gaza, uh, you see the most uh, civilian uh, casualties happening from any military campaign, war, anything happening in the last century. I mean, this is worse than the Blitz in London. This is worse than Dresden in Germany. This is worse than Mariupol in Ukraine. And yet we are abstaining as a country to do anything about it. We see civilian lives being taken. We see children who had dreams, who had names, are being murdered by the Israeli oppression forces. This is something that we want to uh, speak out about, speak up about. And this is what we do here in every city, every Thursday. Uh, for the last months. I think the people's pressure will change the heads of states because we have seen like London, 
New York, all across the Netherlands, all across the Arab world. The people are rising up, but at the same time, it seems like the regime of the Zionists uh, is so undemocratic that he doesn't listen, actually, to the voice of the streets. So how do you feel about protesting for months and yet the relentless bombardment of civilians children, women, doctors, journalists, doesn't cease. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really heartbreaking uh, and, and it really makes me desperate from time to time to see that nothing is actually changing in a way. Uh, but still, I think it's very important to keep the public pressure up, to keep educating other people. The, the more people we reach, that's also why we do it as stations, uh, here, a lot of people come home from their work um, mm -hmm. at the end of the afternoon, beginning of the evening, go home to their dinner, and we try to at least let them know and let them feel the pain that we are all feeling when we are looking at the news from Gaza. Um, and yes, of course, it's frustrating. It's frustrating as hell that in the end, uh, the Zionist regime will not do anything differently uh, unless maybe the United States will change their position. Uh, but this is also something like if we can isolate the US inside the Western uh, Hemisphere, we can hopefully put pressure also from here to there and at least make the situation somewhat better. We do see a shift in consciousness all over the world. Like the world is seeing the genocide happening in real time. Um, this is also something I think we should do not only here on the streets, but also in our circles with our friends on social media, show the world what is going on so that more people become aware. It's also a part of this manifesto that we're uh, handing out here during the protest. It's like educate yourself, uh, keep up with the news and come into action um, and speak out. We just want like people to be aware, to be educated, to follow what is going on so that we can build up the pressure and hopefully that will change something. Um, and we are, I'm also convinced that at some point in history, Israel will be held accountable for their crimes.
Let's go, Salem! 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 Let's go, Salem!